Hi, this is Chris with Cloud Computing for Kids. Today we're going to be looking at Lambda functions. So first we're going to search up Lambda and we're brought into this console. So we can click on create a function and there are four options here. We are going to be using use a blueprint. So next we type in hello and as you can see we have two options. The first one is JavaScript so we're going to be choosing Python. And now we go ahead and configure it so we'll call it demo. As you can see, there are three options down here. Uh, we don't have an existing role, and I am not going to create a new role, so we're just going to use the first option there. And down here is our function code, and it takes a while, so I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead. So now that we're here, uh, we have a few tabs up here, and we're going to be looking at our code. So if I click on this, we can see our code, as you saw earlier. So this is Python, and first we're importing JSON, we're printing a loading function. Next we're creating a handler for Lambda events. And finally we're printing a few things down here, and returning one event. And the event is the same as the first one, it's key one. And we haven't defined it yet, however, when we click test, uh, we will be able to define it. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, we can uh, configure the test. I'm going to go ahead and name this demo. And there's a bunch of events down there, as you see. So here we have the response uh, value one, and that was uh, equivalent to key one. Next, we have the printed stuff. And as you can see down here, we have a few interesting things. We have the duration, the build duration, uh, the memory, and the initiation. So as you can see, the initiation is only once, and it's how long. So if we do change the code, however, uh, and deploy it, uh, we will get a new initiation value because we have changed the code. So if we go back here and go into the test tab, as you can see, we have our events down here. Uh, if we were to change this to something like banana uh, and save it, we go. we can go ahead and see that there is no new initiation value because we're not changing the code itself. Uh, instead, we're changing the events. And now we can just go ahead and go into monitor. As you can see, there's a few logs down here already because we ran it a few times. And these are uh, ran by CloudWatch and stored in CloudWatch actually. So if we go ahead and click on one of them, it'll bring us to a new tab in CloudWatch. And as you can see, we have like the things that happen down here. So if you were to have an error, it would be helpful to go to the logs. Next, we have uh, the metrics. Uh, this is good information and it can really help you. Because, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of things that we can observe here. So in configuration, there's a lot of tabs, but we're only going to be dealing with general for now. So we can go ahead and press edit. And as you can see, we can go up to that amount of megabytes, which is uh, a few. And we can change this to uh, 15. Uh, however, if we go over the 15 minute mark, it will uh, not allow it because 15 is the maximum. So I'm just going to reset this back to what it was earlier. And uh, we can create rolls again but I'm not going to, so we're just going to go ahead and save it. And finally, we can go ahead and delete the Lambda function. So go into Functions again, act, uh, click on it, and then Actions and Delete. 